got a ukulele is back and what could be better for you than a model that has got the esteemed tag of an Amazon choice. Keep watching. Yes, got a ukulele is back with your summary video review to the full review that's linked below every video. Um, yeah, I had a little bit of a break. I've still got pressures with work and home, and I just think I need to take more breaks, really, but uh, found a little bit of time to do this one for you. Um, there's quite a few thank yous running across the bottom of the screen there for people who donate to help keep this site going. Um, because I've had that break, there's more than usual there, but it's much appreciated. This is not a sponsored site. And why not think about subscribing to the Got a Ukulele YouTube channel, and if you hit the little bell symbol down there, you'll be notified of new stuff that comes your way as and when it does. Yeah, Amazon Choice, uh, one of those little monikers that they put on certain products that give it this sort of air of quality, or do they? Uh, this is an Amazon-only instrument. Um, I think in reality that Am uh, Amazon Choice moniker just means that they're selling a lot of them and they want to sell more. Uh, as I say, this is available both sides of the Atlantic on Amazon only, and this is the Everjoys Soprano Beginner Pack Ukulele. Uh, comes in a range of colours, or like this one with these rainbow strings, which they bill as being an aid to learning. More about those in a moment though. It is a laminate, cheap uh, soprano scale instrument. Um, and a lot of people perhaps wrongly say that whenever I review one of these, I'm going to absolutely trash it. That's not true. There are some good ones out there, like octopuses and Macala dolphins. I'm afraid, unfortunately, there's also quite a lot of dross out there. So we'll see how this one fares. Everjoys, made in China. Uh, it's, as I say, a laminate bodied ukulele. This is made of laminate base wood, which is very, very cheap plywood. To be fair to them, they don't try and hide that. Um, and this is finished with this sort of pale colouring or natural colouring on the top and um, a painted satin kind of reddy brown on the back and sides. It gives it the look at a distance of a spruce top with a mahogany back and sides, but obviously that's not what it is. It actually looks like a project ukulele that's been done in a classroom. Um, or it's been coloured in with a sharpie. It's not very nice. I don't like the feel of it. To be fair though, I'm not seeing any sort of glaring problems, sort of open, unfinished areas, scratches, dents, open joints, which I've seen on some others. So better than many I've seen. There's a scuff there. Um, it's not perfect, you know, but it's not an absolute howler. Uh, I just think it looks, um, uh, yeah, like a project, an unfinished project at that. The bridge is a tie bar style. I find that strange considering they're marketing this as a beginner's ukulele, so an aid to learning, because that's the more complex type of bridge to change the strings on. They say it's made from maple. Maple is not black, so it's obviously maple that has been dyed. Uh, it's otherwise actually quite tidy, to be honest, screwed in place there. Plastic, uh, straight topped saddle, and there you are. There is no other decoration on this bar that sound hole transfer. Uh, and I think it looks a bit bare for that because I really don't like the color of this this reddy brown on the back either. Um, all right, looking inside, it's actually more traditionally built than a lot of these cheap ukuleles. It actually has bracing. It actually has lining, curved linings on the top and back. Uh, but it is really messy in there. Have a look at the picture on the on the website because there's something really horrible going on down the bottom end that I don't really want to get too close to. Moving on, up to the neck. They specify that as made of AAA grade mahogany. I call baloney. No, it isn't. It might be mahogany, but it's not AAA grade. And how would you ever know anyway? Because it's covered in this same uh, pretty ugly satin. It narrows down to a typically Chinese narrow nut profile. It's about 34 mil. Uh, have a look on the website for the actual measurements. About 34 mil, so that's too narrow for me. Real broom handle thickness as well. Uh, topped with what their website say is AAA grade rosewood. No, 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 no. The Amazon listings list it as blackwood. I don't even think it's blackwood either. I think it's dyed wood. And as you can see, it's laminated in strips. I don't have a problem with that. I've seen some very nice instruments do that. It's quite eco-friendly, but it's not AAA grade rosewood. Their product descriptions are appalling. 
Uh, frets, very standard, 12 to the body for a uh, Soprano. Really surprising to see that they are edge stained or even actually, I think, edge bound. You, you know, you really don't tend to see that. Sadly, really, really sharp fret ends, particularly down this side. They're awful. I'd reject it for that because that's horrible to play. Position markers face out at, at 5, 7 and 10. Uh, fairly standard for Soprano, sadly, no side dots at all. Beyond the Bone Nut, set up on this incidentally, really good, really good. It's about 225 mil at the 12th, it's not too high at the nut, that really surprised me. Up to this crown shaped headstock with quite an attractive taper up here that kind of reminds me of Kawea. Uh, you know, it's all right, actually. The Everjoys logo is screen printed on in silver, and I don't think that looks too bad either. The tuners are generic, unbranded open gears, but at least the buttons are not too big. Um, you know, they're unremarkable, but they're not horrible. Um, and it comes with these strings. They're not what people think they are. They're not Aquila kids' strings, which have become kind of established now with a color order that works for teaching. I think it follows the color order of the Boom Whacker rhythm sticks. This is a completely different color order. That's just insanely, an insane choice because if you're in a classroom with kids and a teacher who are using the established color order, you're not gonna be able to follow along. And if you learn with these, where do you get other ones? Because I don't know where you buy them in this order. I think that's really cynical. I think they've gone for the education aspect, but have chosen the wrong colour order. That's bizarre. You also get one of those next to useless dust cover gig bags and this little goodie bag, which comes with a little songbook with some uh, chords and stuff in it, a sound hole hook strap, don't like those, a clip-on tuner, they always come with and this little bag here contains a cloth two plastic picks and in what i thought was a mistake i thought they just simply not packed all the details a single string replacement not a set just a single string and i went on their website and that's deliberate they only give you one string maybe they think the a string the first string is going to snap but they don't give you any others that's really really strange uh, all right, okay, let's just sort of sum up really. Sharp fret ends, no side fret markers, really don't like what's going on inside, really don't like the feel of this finish, but it is far better than many I have seen. It is not the absolute worst. Look at my review of the Ashton or the Martin Smith, and you'll see what I mean when I say that, because they are woeful. It's actually all right in the build, in the way it's been put together. There's no open seams or gaps or problems. The neck is straight, the action is good. Um, it's not too heavy, 415 grams, so it feels like a little light soprano. It's nicely balanced as well. Let's have a tune up. Now, as I say, these are not Aquila strings. I'm fairly sure of that. I think they're nylon dyed. You know, you're already starting to hear it now, aren't you? But let's just keep off the tone for a moment. These strings are going to keep going out of tune. They've been going out of tune all week because they are kind of flabby nylon. The volume, first of all. All right, actually. That's all right. It's not the loudest ukulele I've ever played, but you're not going to be unheard. And for a child playing at home, absolutely perfect. But you'll probably have noticed there's very little sustain. It's very short and staccato. It's also got that really typical laminate, boxy, echoey tone. Um, again, not the worst I've ever played. I find it really uncomfortable to play because of the narrowness of that nut and the sharp frets. I'll try, try and give it a go. intonation it's going out of tune but as you've probably just heard it's it's pretty uninspiring to listen to mm, yeah 
yeah. Not the, it's really weird to say, not the worst I've ever heard. It kind of sounds like a musical instrument. It's playing the notes okay. They're recognizable notes. It's not completely on top of itself or um, bang and a whack. But it's really sort of thin and insipid. Uh, so it's middle ground really for me and for that reason even though it's really cheap because I didn't tell you the price You get this for about 35 pounds on Amazon about $40 in the USA uh, Because of that it doesn't really do too well on the value money stakes Either because for that kind of money buy yourself a flight travel something like that buy yourself a Macala Dolphin It will be much better than this um Yes, it would probably sound a bit better with new strings on it, but then it's not a $35 quid instrument. It's more like a 45 quid instrument. Um, and why would you? Um, I, I think those colored strings are really cynical. They bother me. They haven't affected the score though, because you change them out. I just really think it tells you about the brand that they've thought about, oh, let's just do this, but they haven't really thought about why. Um, and I think, that's, I think that's a crying shame. It's not the worst cheap soprano I've ever played at all. Um, it's certainly not the best, but it's not the worst. I don't think you'd make a howling mistake. If, if, if a grandparent gave this to your child to learn on, probably gonna be okay as a first instrument, I guess. It's just not really inspiring. I'm not the right market for this, so I'm sort of picking out the things that probably won't matter, but you still can do better. And that's the important thing, isn't it? That's why these reviews exist, because you can do better. Just go and get a, an octopus or a dolphin or a flight travel or something like that, and you'll certainly be doing better. Yeah, mixed review. Not the worst. Certainly not the best. Um, there we are, the Everjoys Beginner Soprano Pack Ukulele. Lots of bright colours you can get as well. Um, about 35 quid. Amazon only. Amazon choice? Nah, nah. That's misleading. All right, okay, I will be back when I can. Don't know when it's going to be. Um, hopefully next weekend. I've just got to put my family first for a while. Um, but I'm going to try and keep these going because I do enjoy doing them and I appreciate all your kind words as well. Take care, everybody. Have a very good week and I'll see you soon. Bye.